Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a floor value system. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications. And without further ado, let's get started. So we do have x plus the floor value of y plus the fractional part of z is equal to 3.9, and all the other equations are given. So basically, we're talking about two different functions here. One of them is the floor function, and the other one is the fractional part of a number. So let's kind of refresh our memories about those two functions. Floor value, first of all, is basically, so let's just go ahead and talk about the floor value of a number a, right? Okay, floor value of a is basically the greatest integer, greatest integer less than or equal to a, okay? That's basically what you're talking about. The greatest integer less than or equal to a. All right, cool. So it's kind of like rounding the number down. Cool. What about the fractional part? Well, think about a number like 2.5, okay? So when you take the floor value of that number, you get two, right? If you round it down, basically. So the fractional part is basically the difference between these two numbers. So you basically subtract a minus the floor value of a. That's basically how you define the fractional part of a number, okay? So this is our definition. So Let's go ahead and use those in our equations, okay? Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and add up these equations first, right? And when we add these up, we're gonna get something nice. So let me go ahead and get this out of the way so that it doesn't, you know, interfere with our solution. Maybe I'll just put this somewhere else. Okay, I think here is okay. Now, when we add these up, what's gonna happen we're gonna get x plus y plus z for sure, right? And then we should be getting something like this. Let's take a look at it closely. We have the floor value of x added to the fractional part of x. And as you know, those two quantities will make x, right? So we'll get another x from here. When you add the floor value of y and the fractional part of y, you'll get another y from there, and then we'll get another z. So basically this sum is gonna give us the x plus y plus z twice and that is gonna equal 9.4, okay? So obviously we're gonna divide both sides by two here, and if you do that, you're gonna get x plus y plus z is equal to 4.7, okay? So that's going to be our first finding. So now we know that x plus y plus z is equal to 4.7. Let's not forget that, okay? Cool, now I'm gonna number these equations now, let me go ahead and number them. This is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. Now, what I'd like to do is, I'd like to manipulate these equations further because this doesn't really give me much except for the fact that I know that the sum of x, y, z is 4.7, and we're looking for obviously real solutions, not integer, x, y, z don't have to be integers. And in this case, you can see that they're not necessarily all integers. So the next step involves using two equations at a time. So here's how it works. I'm going to use number one and number two together, all right? So I'll, I'll be adding these two equations and let's see what that gives us, okay? So first, one and two. So obviously I just put that expression there. Let me go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Okay, we don't want that. All right, we don't really need it anymore, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one and two here, one and two. Let's see what we get from there. If I add one and two, so I should be getting, if you remember, number one is x plus the floor value of y plus the fractional part of z. And to that, I'm gonna add y plus the floor value of z plus the fractional part of x. So I'm adding one and two, and 3.9 plus 3.5 is gonna be 7.4, okay? Cool. Now, what this gives us is not completely something nice as x plus y plus c, but something close. So notice that here we have x and y. Can we get a z from here? Absolutely. How do we get a z? Well, if you add the floor value of z to the fractional part, then you'll get a z. So this gives us x plus y plus z, plus some other things, but that's okay. We can handle that. We're also gonna be getting this one, which is the floor value of y, plus the fractional part of x. Okay, 
Now, to keep a long story short, we know that x plus y plus z is equal to 4.7. So if you go ahead and subtract this expression from 7.4, then you should be getting 2.7 for this part. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, remember, the floor value of y is always an integer. It's rounding down. And the fractional part of x, I, I guess we forgot to say mention that at the beginning, but the floor value of any number needs to be between 0 and 1, half inclusive, because you know that it can be 0 when x is an integer, but it can never be 1. So this means that the floor value of y needs to be a 2 here, and the fractional part of x needs to be a 0.7. Alrighty? Cool. So that's going to be our first manipulation with two equations. Next, we're going to go ahead and use, we're going to go ahead and use two and three. Okay. So let's now use number two and number three. Now, what are they? If you remember, number two was y plus the floor value of z plus the fractional part of x. And number three is z plus the floor value of x plus the fractional part of y. And 3.5 plus 2 is going to give us 5.5. .5. Again, we're getting something similar, which is x plus y plus z. Well, we got the y and z, but where does the x come from? x is going to come from this one and this one. You see that? Similar. Okay. There is, we have some type of, you know, similarity here. And then, of course, we have some leftovers, uh, the floor value of z and the fractional part of y. Okay. And this sum is equal to 5.5. Again, we're hitting the x plus y plus z here. And what is the value of x plus y plus z? It is equal to 4.7, if you remember that. Hopefully, you've taken some notes on that. And the remaining part is just going to be 0 0.8. Now, this is interesting because for the first time, we got something less than 1. But that's okay. This just indicates that the floor value of z is equal to 0 because it needs to be an integer. And the fractional part of y is going to be... 0.8. Cool. So we got more information on y and z. And if you remember, in the previous one, we also had in some information about x and y. So we're going to put it all together at, at the end. Okay. Now, the next step is going to be using equations number one and number three. All right. So number one is x plus z. Well, actually, I can probably just go ahead and write it in that order, just like before. So 1 is x plus the floor value of y plus the fractional part of z. And then to that, I'm going to be adding number 3, which is z plus the floor value of x plus the fractional part of y. Okay, and so 3.9 plus 2 is going to be 5.9. Okay, cool. Now, what are we going to do with this? Again, we have x plus z, and this is going to give us a y. So we, we're still getting x plus y plus z from here, just like before. And then, additionally, we have the floor value of x, this one, and the fractional part of z, this one. Okay? And that sum is equal to 5.9. Now, remember that x plus y plus z is equal to 4.7. So the remaining part is going to be 1.2. Now, what does this tell us? Well, the floor value of x needs to be an integer, so it needs to be 1. And the fractional part of z needs to be between 0 and 1, so it needs to be 0 0.2. Now, what we're going to do is, in the next slide, I'm going to go ahead and put it all together, and we'll finalize this. Okay? Ready for the final step? Okay, let's put it all together. So now, I have... I have the floor value of y is equal to 2, and then the fractional part of x is equal to 0 0.7. And then I have the floor value of z is equal to 0, and the fractional part of y is equal to 0 0.8. And then I have the floor value of x is equal to 1, and the fractional part of z is equal to 0 0.2. Now, how do we put this all together? Well, here's what we got to remember. Remember that for any number a, a can be written basically as a sum of two things, one of which is the floor value, the other is the fractional part. All right? So by putting these two together, we, we can actually find x, y, and z. So if you go ahead and put this together, take the x, this one, and this one, that's going to give you x equals 1.7. And if you use 
this one together with this one, you're gonna get y is equal to 2.8. And if you use this one and this one, which is kind of like not really using it because z, uh, the floor value is zero, but again, it's just adding to two quantities, z will be 0 0.2, all right? So this basically concludes the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.